can apologize and make amends for the horrible acts I've done, I committed. And not a single day goes by that I don't think about my parents or my whole family. For the very first time, we heard from Tyler Hadley, who apologized for killing his parents with a hammer. And now we wait for the judge's decision whether Tyler will be granted parole. News Channel 5's John Shaman is live outside the St. Lucie County Courthouse with a wrap up of this dramatic day. John? Jay, it certainly was a dramatic day. A lot of emotional testimony that came after both the prosecution and defense gave their closing arguments. Can you just state your name for the record, please? Tyler Hadley. After eight days, we hear from Tyler Hadley for 86 seconds. I'd like to direct this to my entire family, all of you, everyone, all of you. Hadley told the court he can't apologize or make amends for the horrible acts he committed. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about my parents or my whole family that I've affected by this. Hadley said he realizes he took away a son, father, a mother, a sister, a brother, and two friends. I know. I don't expect forgiveness, and I know that they, I know they will never forgive me, and I, I'm not expecting forgiveness. Public defender Diamond Liddy asked the judge for two concurrent 30-year sentences with a case review after 20 years. She said Tyler Hadley's crimes were not those of an adult. In fact, it is the state's evidence that shows this was the result of a severely mentally ill child. In his closing remarks, Chief Assistant State Attorney Tom Bacadal called Hadley a manipulator and a cold-blooded killer trying to now throw himself on the mercy of the court. He is done. No jury in the world would buy the self-defense, excuse me, the insanity defense in this case. The state is looking for Hadley to get life without the possibility of parole. Uh, coming up all new at 6 o'clock, we will hear from some of Tyler Hadley's family members who also had a chance to address the court. Now, as for the sentencing itself, the judge has scheduled that for 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. And, of course, we will be here. We're live at Fort Pierce, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.